pricing module. So that's the third method used in calculating cost of equity from dividend. Now, what is the capital asset pricing module about? So this is where we are calculating dividend using this, sorry, cost of capital using this formula. RF plus B out RM minus RF. Where RF is the risk-free rate. Risk-free rate or what is called interest rate on government bonds. Very important. Risk-free rate or interest rate on government bonds. BE is the equity beta. RM is the return on the market. RM is the return on the market. Now, sometimes RM minus RF is referred to as the risk premium. So sometimes the examiner may not give you the return on the market, but we will just say risk premium. In that case, you just put that there and then you go ahead and calculate your KE. So look at how this happens. So let me pull a simple scenario up. Gold Limited has an equity beta of 2.3 with returns on government bond at 5% while the market return is 12.5%. While the market return is 12.5%. Required. Calculate the cost of equity. Calculate the cost of equity. So in this scenario, what do we do? Here, you can't use dividend because you've not had any dividend. Hence, you have to go and use the capital asset pricing module. So, solution. Look at the preambles out. You could see that CAM equals the risk free rate plus the equity beta, the return on the market minus the risk free rate. From the question, we are giving the risk free rate as what? That is the return on the government bond. And that's 5%. We are giving the beta, equity beta, at 2.3, and then the return on the market, RM, at 12.5%. So we just substitute this into the formula, and we calculate our count. So our count will be equal to the risk free rate, 5%, plus 2.3 out, 12.5% minus 2.3. Sorry, minus 5%. What do I have? That becomes the count. Mm -hmm. 42.25%. So that becomes your KE. That becomes your KE for this question. That is how the capital asset pricing module is used. But sometimes 
It will not be straightforward like this. So I'm going to do something called rejearing. Now, we will use this scenario like this. If Gob Limited is making investments in its own industry, in its own market. But immediately the company diversify, then the camp calculation is going to be different. Remember, if we were doing investment appraisal, then we will appraise the project using what? This camp figure here. But assuming the company was undertaking a project in another industry, then they cannot use their current camp. They have to calculate the camp in relation to that industry. Because remember, one of the things that the capital asset pricing module is taking into consideration is the risk that is associated with the shares. That is the idea about what? The equity beta. So, if the company is going to diversify, then we must calculate CAM in taking into consideration that industry. So look at how we're going to go about that. Look at how we're going to go about that. And I'm going to use a question for that illustration. So this is what we have. Okay, I'm just going to build up on this question. I'm just going to build up on this question. So, Gob Limited is seeking to invest in another industry. Is seeking to invest in another industry. It has identified Jeans Limited as a key player or a key firm with the following data. With the following data. Equity beta 2.5 I think I should have market return 12.5% and then risk free rate is 5%. Required. Calculate the rate at which Go Limited must appraise this investment. Calculate the rate at which Go Limited must appraise this investment. So let's add this information. Equity to debt ratio of, so NB, notes. Equity to debt ratio of, uh, seven is to three for jeans PLC or jeans limited. 7 is to 3. So look at how we're going to go about this. And tax rate is 30%. There's a lot of things added because of the way the nature of the thing is. So look at what is happening here. This is the beginning of the question. This is the current position of this company. But they want to divest, invest in another industry. 
If they want to invest in another industry, what rates did you say we had here? 22.25. They cannot appraise this investment at their current uh, KE or CAM. So they must go into the industry and find out what is happening in the industry and use the asset beta in the industry to recalculate their account. So I'm going to take that easily for you. So look at what is happening here. They have identified a company in that industry and this is the information about that company. Remember, for the market share and then the returns on the market, everything is like that there. But this company has a debt to equity ratio of seven is what? Three. So what do we do? There is a formula we are going to be using in order for us to get ourselves around. The idea here is that if this is the equity beta of Jeans PLC, we need to calculate the asset beta. Now, follow me carefully. The equity beta is the risk that is associated with the shares of the company. The asset beta is the risk that is associated with what? The entire industry. So if we want to look at the risk in this industry we are going into, we need to calculate what? The asset beta for the industry. So how do we calculate the asset beta for the industry? We use the formula. And that is BA equals bracket open VE over VE plus VD out 1 minus T bracket plus BE. Okay, the bracket should be close like that. Times BE here, bracket close. Follow me carefully. The BA is the asset beta. The BE is the equity beta. So if you check this question, the company we identify, they have an equity beta. The company we identify, this is their debt to equity ratio. The company we identify or the industry, this is their tax rate. So we will use the information about that company to calculate the asset beta for the industry. So let's go. Now, if you hear any time the examiner says debt to equity ratio is 70 or 7 to 3, what does it mean? It means equity is how much? You can say equity is 70 million, okay? And debt is what? 30 million. You can say that. And you can also say 7 is to 3. It's the same thing. If that is the case, then we calculate our asset beta for the industry. And that is going to be VE, which is how much? 70 mil over VE plus VD, which is going to be 100 minus, or oh, into bracket 1 minus the tax rate, 30%, 0.3 times the equity beta of the company we identify, 2.5. Can I have an answer, please? And if you don't understand, let me know as soon as possible before you get missing. So take note. So the first thing is we calculate what the asset beta. Now look at what is going to happen. We will now use this asset beta that has been calculated for the industry to re-gear the equity beta of gold PLC or gold limited. To re-gear the equity beta of the company gold limited. How do we do that? How do we do that? We use the same formula to say that 
I said beta equals VE over VE plus VD, 1 minus tax times what? VE. Now look at something here. This time around, we have the asset beta for the industry, 2.5. So we are calculating the new equity beta for this company. Now, for that reason, let's say that for Go PLC, their equity to debt ratio is say 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1. If that is the case, then their equity will be 20 million. Their equity plus debt will be what? 30 million. So 2 is to 1. 30 million. Times equity beta. That's what we are looking for. 1 minus the tax rate of what? 30%. The tax rate will be the same and it will apply to all of them. So how do we solve this? How do we solve it? Help me out. 2.5 equals 20 over this and this. What do we have? Twenty-one. So follow me carefully. Follow me carefully. By B. So B E is here. So look at what is going to happen. So can I say B E? That is the equity beta equals two point five times twenty-one over twenty. Can I say that? Do you see cross multiplication and we dividing? And now Myra, Myra, I'm not even kg maximum. And what does that say? You got it? Okay, so punch for me. Two point six. So look at something here. Now, Gold Limited has take keep into consideration the risks in the market they are going into. So right now their equity beta is no more 2.3, but rather what? 2.6. So we will use this 2.6 to now calculate the new count for Gulf Limited. Can I rub this? Have you finished writing this? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the investment they are making in another industry, the camp, which is the KE, will now be equal to, look at it, rich free rate is still 5%, but the equity beta is now what? 2.6. Out, return on the market, 12.5% minus 5%. Can you punch for me and let's see the answer we get. So that is the third step. Calculate the camp for the entity. Okay. Has it increased or reduced? It has, it has increased. That is what we are talking about here. So this is what you have to understand about regenerating of the equity beta. If in the question, the examiner had given us the asset beta, we wouldn't have done this. Get that very well. If we were given the asset beta for the industry, then you go straight and do the read year for the company, then you calculate your count. But because we were not given asset beta, we were given an equity beta, then we have to calculate the asset beta for that industry and use that to read year for the company. So put it down and if you have any question, you ask me.